Okay, what's up everybody? I'm back with um, another video here. I've had a request to kind of compare this case to some other cases that I have. And so I am going to do that. I have this macroed in, so it's going to be kind of fuzzy in the foreground here. But it's kind of cool because you get a clearer picture. So let's get into this. Um, I guess first thing, let's take this case off. So I guess this you guys can see how easy and hard this is to take off. So what I'm going to do is just kind of grab it by the corners here. Just kind of pry it back. And at the same time kind of pushing in like that piece of cake. No big. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and clean it. Even though I got the zag on there. Okay. Uh, grab some water. Um, so, first, I'm going to compare it to the Incipio Feather, which I have here. I have it in green and black. And we'll just go ahead and do the black, or, uh, green one, whatever. Um, kind of clean this out, just so I don't want any dust in here. Hate dust. Dust is indeed the worst. Alright, so I'll just kind of walk around the case here. You've got the, uh, volume rocker and sleep. A, uh, or vibrate ringer switch headphone port and the sleep awake button the camera cut out same kind of deal on the bottom of this case the reveal and the feather see how they're both kind of not there's no protection on the bottom bezel and you can kind of see how let's kind of stack them here the uh, reveal case like I said on the previous video how it comes out further over the corners. If you can kind of see that. Which you can kind of. Which kind of adds the better protection there. So, uh, and kind of compare thickness if we can. That's kind of hard to do, I guess. Oh, you kind of get a sense of how thick that is. This is super, super thin. Like, you can, it's pliable. You can squeeze it. Nothing's going to happen. This one, um, not gonna lie, I'm kind of afraid to do that. But I don't think anything will happen. But let's go ahead and just put it in here. Same deal. Piece side down first. Snap it in. Okay. Um, this one feels really good in the hand. It feels like there's nothing on the phone. It feels like it's a naked phone. Once again, I do have the uh, the DLL actually plastic cover all around this. So same as a Zach, but fits it just fine. And this one has minimal protection, there's no shock absorption, kind of like how this guy does have the rubber inside, so I kind of feel better about that one. It's just super, super thin. It's kind of more like scratch protection, I guess. Cutouts are real nice. Like perfect, basically. Yeah, and so I guess to compare it to um, the reveal case, I like the reveal case better just because this one really thin, this one's thicker, and it has the uh, implementation of the rubber sides, so it's good shock protection. To answer that guy's uh, question, I forgot his name, but I'm sorry, that sucks. Anyway, yeah, go with this guy, just because it's thicker, plastic's thicker, and uh, it's got the rubber sides. My one flaw I thought about this case, though, is the top. See how, like, this plastic comes around like that on these sides? It doesn't do that on the top. I really wish it would, because this is kind of flimsy. Now, you see that? That kind of grabs on the pants when you're kind because I put my phone on like this. This way. So when I'm pulling it out of my pants, it kind of gets hung up a little bit. But not too bad, but I don't know how that's going to be over time. Yeah. So... That would have been nice if they could have just kind of had the plastic come up over like that, at least. Okay, but let's compare it to the Spec Candy Shell. A lot of you out there were asking me how it compares to this, or what I thought about the Spec Candy Shell. And, this is a cool case and everything for the hybrid, you know, it's really thick. I mean, my f I definitely feel uh, secure when my phone is in this case. But, it's a little big for me. And the colors, at least on this one's not not so hot, at least for me. But again, 
good protection. The phone goes in and out with the Zag on there really easily, so let's just go ahead and put it in there. So same volume rocker side in first. It's got a little thing there and a snap in. Easy. The one flaw I have about this case, other than its bulk, you know, it does have good shock protection, good lay on the table design. Excuse me, it's grabbing. Yep, 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 yep. But uh, these these knobs, or not these knobs, but the silicone inside that where you push it in there, really hard to do. Not gonna lie. Can I get that unlocked? Yeah. So when you uh, are pushing these. But it's not really easy to do. It's actually really hard to do. And that kind of sucks for me. That's kind of a pain. But as far as protection-wise go, this case wins. Over this case. Because, of course, it covers the bottom bezel there. But that port, look at that port cut out. I mean, that's just sloppy. Even though this one doesn't even have that. I would like to have seen it kind of come in a little bit right here. Kind of open up for the... Like that. Kind of like what Encase does on the bottom of their cases. That would have been way better. Um, but yeah, this case is a solid case. So if you guys are kind of torn between the Reveal case, the Feather case, and the Spec Candy Shell case, I don't know, man. The choice is yours. I like this because it's, more, it's less bulk, but I kind of lose that bottom bezel protection. But that's no big deal for me, I guess, just because... I'm just not worried about it anymore. I've had this phone for a while. I'm going to get the 3GS, of course. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or comments, subscribe, please. I'm trying to do these videos some more, so get some more subscribers, viewers. And uh, pretty quick on the responses, if you can tell. So, hit that comment link and rate it, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah. So, I mean, here they are. Kind of compare thickness. You can definitely see the thickness difference. This one's way thinner. Feels better in the hand to me. Just feels like a beast. And it's not going to break if I drop it. I'm more, more comfortable dropping it in this case than I am with this case. But I like the aesthetics of this case over this case. Definitely over this case. This one's just too flimsy. You can even see through it. See my, see my hand right here. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm out. Goodbye.